Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, October 22nd to the 23rd Intuitive Love Tarot Read. For those who are returning to my channel, welcome back. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. And for those who are new, welcome to my channel. Please drop a like, share, and subscribe right below before you leave. Let's get to it, Cappies. Okay, Spirit, what's up for my Capricorn? with love for this next day okay anything else anything else hmm. queen of swords capricorn it seems as if you are cutting things out of your life that no longer serve a purpose they're saying and this is something that you've recently noticed that has held you back Especially in your love life. <laughs> They're saying it again. And heads will roll. They like telling me that with this card sometimes. And heads will roll. I, You're pretty determined to do this, Capricorn. And some may be surprised. Some may be surprised as to who's getting cut out. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so you're taking on this very logical approach, especially when it comes to your life. This is in all areas, not just love. I'm feeling <clears throat> just your your atmosphere, your surroundings. It's like I just see you going through and cut, 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 cut. clearing. It's like it's like going. They're showing me going through like a field of corn. And you know how you see, you know, people take like a machete and just cut their way through. That's exactly what you're doing. You're paving your own way. You're paving your own way. What's coming towards you is the moon card. That's a Cancer Pisces card and also the Page of Pentacles. You may be receiving a message from a Cancer or a Pisces. This could be something that's hidden from you, something you didn't know about, Capricorn. Something that was hidden. Does this have, and this has to do with a love interest of yours. Okay, so let's see how you respond. Ah, the Queen of Pentacles. This is your card, Cappies. You're pretty confident in your monetary situation right now. So I see you not even being bothered about this. It's like another thing that you're cutting out of your life. Like bullshit drama, bullshit messages. Um, people trying to tell you things that you don't know to see if they get a reaction out of you. That's what I'm feeling. And you're just like, no, I'm... I'm just concentrating on my pentacle. I'm appreciating my pentacle. I'm building my pentacle. I want to make more pentacles. That's what I like. That's what I'm hearing. All these sort of affirmations that you're telling yourself. You you want to be in your own little cave, your own little world right now, because I'm feeling you're trying to, like I said, pave the way for a new life to to emerge, to begin. And you're working towards that. Okay. How this changes your energy is the sun card. You become happier. That just makes sense to me, Cappies. The sun card is the Leo card. You're feeling youthful, more exuberant. This also talks about a past life. You may be getting uh, flashes of a past life, a particular past life. And it's also feeling good, feeling youthful, that youth feeling, um, what's the word? Uh, optimistic, optimistic. That youthful optimism is coming back as you cut your way through and you clear your path. You let, you're letting, you're clearing your energy field is exactly what you're doing. 
So let's see. Mm. King of Cups. King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces could be coming towards you. Just because it's a male energy doesn't mean that it couldn't be a female. This person is very intuitive, very open. Fun loving. They're saying fun loving. Happy. Optimism. Mm -hmm. How you respond is the high priestess. You look within. This person is mirroring something within you that you like and you enjoy. It's reminding you of, you, of who you are. It could be, it could be, a this is a twin flame card, but it is the only one I have. Well, the sun card is a past life. Doesn't really matter who it is because whoever it is, it's mirroring an aspect of yourself that you like feeling, like seeing, like experiencing. Hmm. Okay, do another round. And this also brings you truth and clarity in relation to love. And I feel it's in relation to what you're looking for, the aspects of, of people that you're looking for, what you want to feel when it comes to love. And this person is reminding you of, of what you deserve, what you desire. Okay. So tell me more about this person. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. They want to build something with you. They want to work on something with you. This could be in relation to business. But they do want to build something with you. I do feel they're also interested romantically in you. Whether or not it goes anywhere or it just lasts a little, a little bit. This person is supposed to come in and show you an aspect of yourself. Five of Swords. You're done fighting. You're done fighting. You're just, you know, you're taking your ball and you're going home. In this case, you're taking your sword and you're going home. You're like, I'm sick of fighting. It's taking too much energy. I just want to work at my pentacles. I just want to enjoy my King of Cups. But things are changing and you realize that. You realize that things are changing within your world. So let's see. What's ahead for you guys? Okay, Page of Swords. It would be a lot of communication between you two. Seven of Pentacles. And I told you, they want to build something with you. They're, you're going to plant some seeds here. Like I said, I'm not sure how long this will last but I don't feel it will end on a bad note if it's only for a short while it's only for a short while and you're supposed to be be with each other for a short while eight of pentacles but you will work on this and give this a try you both will you both will if anything it, it will be a happy uplifting experience you will have paved the way for new energies to come into your love life and you will be enjoying it you will be enjoying it and doing very well as far as your pentacles go. So Capricorns, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't before you leave today. And you have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow.